Okay, Gem Lee, I really, really love this play to earn game and they have now recently just started an event. So stay tuned to find out more. All right, so Gemly, if you don't know what Gemly is, I do have another in-depth video on that, so be sure to check it out. But in a nutshell, it's a play to earn game that you honestly really don't need to play too much in order to earn some gems, which can be converted into either cryptocurrency or fiat currency as well. So on my screen here, you can see the game area of Gemly, where I am defeating the monsters on their own. They're all doing everything on their own. I don't need to do anything. Collecting gems and obviously gaining power, building mercenaries, buying mercenaries to build my army and to defeat the monsters and earn gems. I actually have 1.14 million here that I can collect at the moment, which I haven't. And then I'll be able to buy maybe the next mercenary, which will be the probably 7.5 million one, or maybe I'll just keep saving up to gain even more power. But not to deviate from the point here, Gem Lee have just released a new event called Dragon Hunt. So I'm just going to go to participate here. Now, basically what you need to do is from that main game area that I just showed you, I had around 580 something million or 500 million, whatever, something over 500 million damage per second in power, destroying the monsters, okay? That is because I actually do have more than that in power. And I've actually got more than that in power and it's not showing because I'm allocating part of that power to the event called Dragon Hunt, okay? So basically the event is this. So if we just go to event information, defeat the dragon together with other players. Allocate at least 1% of your damage per second, okay, of your army and join the battle with the Dragon Lord alongside other players, okay? You will receive incredibly valuable rewards after victory, once the dragon is defeated, the event participate will compete for a prize pool of $10,000. So the $10,000 are in the form of mercenaries, okay? And here you'll be able to see what's up for grabs. So there are three of these mercenaries here, which are called the Fire Mage. There are the Battle Droids here, okay? And you've got all the others. So when you're you're using allocating part of your damage per second from the main game area, you are actually gaining lucky coins, they call them, okay? And with those lucky coins, you will be getting a better chance of winning those prizes right there. And I will show you um, some of the, the information um, of where I stand at the moment in the list as well. And it also shows the percentage of the chance of you actually being able to get one of those mercenaries as well. Now, um, there is also the Wheel of Fortune, which is something which I really love, and it will actually encourage players to actually take part in this event as well. So if I go to spin the wheel, which I can actually do, you can actually do this every six hours, and you've got one of these prizes that you can get. There are boosters, there are a few mercenaries here, and there are a few gems as well, okay? I know that I've gotten um, one of the Royal Knights here, and I know that I've gotten the 10K gems as well, I think twice, um, so it wasn't too bad. I'd like to try and get a booster. Let's give it a shot right now while I'm actually filming this video and see what I will get and test my luck with you guys. Maybe I'll be lucky and get a booster this time. Let's see. There is actually a 50% booster there, I, I think, so let's see if... Come on, come on, and ooh, oh, just missed it. That would have been awesome, okay? All right, okay, so I've got 10 gems. I can try this again in another six hours, but yeah, you're getting a, a bit of an incentive there. It tells you the chances of what you're gonna get here. So you've got like a 12% chance uh, that you'll actually get this mercenary or this one or this one. They've all got equal chances, same for the gems, and you've got a 1% chance that you'll actually get a booster, but it might happen. I mean, I don't know. We'll, get, we'll keep on trying. The event does run for 21 days. And uh, at the moment, if we go back to the introduction page, uh, let me see if I can, I, can, I can actually go back to the play and participate area. Here it is, 19 days remaining out of the 21, okay? There's still a lot of time left. Be sure if you haven't yet 
registered to Gemly to use my link in the description below this video and you will get 100,000 gems to start you off, okay, as well. So be sure to click my link below, register, complete the two minute tutorial. It's very quick and easy. It just tells you how to kind of buy the mercenaries and things like that. And um, you can then start uh, taking part uh, in the game. And to take part in this event, you do need a minimum of 1 million damage per second okay so you can build that up okay i did i did you don't have to do that and this is not investment advice but i did invest in this game a bit as well and i did put some of my money into it because i believe that it does have some solid potential okay you don't actually have to play all the time if i had to remove this 75 percent my current dps and had to remove it totally and just not take part in this dragon hunt event then my total damage per second would be 2.23 billion, okay? Which is quite a significant amount, but I did invest quite a bit of money into this as well from my end. But again, you don't have to. It will just take you longer to build up the damage per second. But there are also other ways of earning gems, like, for example, website surfing here on the side. So you can earn quite a bit of gems as well and uh, continue to build your army of mercenaries. Patience. Everything takes time and patience, okay? I believed in the site. I always say, do not invest more than you're affording to lose, okay? So if you can't afford to lose it, don't invest it. These things do have certain inherent risks with them. It's an online game, okay? We don't know how long it will last. I'm, I'm going to be straight here. I mean, I'm not being sponsored by Gemini to make this video or anything. So I'm being honest with you guys. So look at both sides of the coin when you actually make these type of financial decisions. And again, I am not giving you any financial advice. So do do your own research. And most of all, just enjoy what you do. Enjoy playing the games. Don't overthink things. Just do things that you want to do. Do what you like to do. Who knows, you might get lucky. You might actually start making a good passive income from it. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll just do it for the entertainment purposes because you actually love the game and you like what it offers, okay? So just enjoy it. And um, I just wanted to make this video to show you that Gemly are also creating awesome events like this one, okay? So um, obviously there are some caveats because I had to sacrifice uh, my power, but you can decide how much of your damage per second power you want to sacrifice. In my case, I decided to do 75% at the time of this video, but you can always go back and just change it on the fly. I can just go to 1% right now, for example, and click apply, and that will be applied immediately, and, and it claims all the gems I've collected and the experience points. Um, and in fact, I think I went up a level there as well, 120 now. Um, now I've got 2.21 billion because I'm using 1%, not all of it. So it's totally up to you. It's totally flexible. If you actually decide to drop out of the event, then you won't lose all the lucky coins that you have managed to accumulate, okay? So at the moment, for example, I've got 700,000 lucky coins. I'm not going to lose those if I decide to go to zero. Then I want, I'll, maybe I'll join in another few days again, okay? Just to keep a balance between gaining the levels and the experience and gaining the gems obviously and building my mercenary even stronger and then coming back and allocating the 75 percent i think that would actually be a good way of thinking about this and doing it so try to use some strategy there okay so maybe leave it one percent for now gain as many many gems as i can maybe buy a stronger mercenary have a bit more power there and then dedicate that 75% to the event and get even more lucky coins, okay? But obviously time is passing by until I do that as well. So everything has its pros and cons. One last thing that I do wanna show you is that down here, okay, I've got 703,000 at the moment, lucky coins, list of participants, and I'm gonna be there somewhere, okay? So 703,000, I'm like, page two. Yeah, I am. There I am. That Echo guy. 703,469. My share, my percentage is 0.1646%. Doesn't sound like a lot, but there's still 19 days to go. So it all depends on how much you're willing to sacrifice, okay? I'm not putting 100% in just yet, but I could, but we'll see, okay? So there's lots of time left. I assume that many people on the last day will kind of go full throttle on this to gain as much as they can. Um, and have a better chance 
at winning. If I go to the list of lucky coins, here it shows you the blocks because they work, they are working in block sizes and how many coins were accrued every single block. And I think um, that each block is every one minute, okay? So that's a good system as well, just to show how many coins are being distributed. Here, there are more, some more instructions, okay? So you specify your damage per second, percentage, okay? You generate lucky coins every minute for every 100 million damage that you have dealt in the event, okay? Then you will get a lucky coin for that. At the end, there's the lottery, okay? So if I actually see what my chances are, so if I go to list of, so if I go to prizes and winners here, up here, I can actually see my percentage. So now I've got 705,000, okay? Prize pool of the Dragon Hunt event is as follows. So for me to able be able to get this mercenary right here, the Fire Mage, there are three of them available. I've got a 0.49% chance that I'll get them. It actually gives you the formula there if you hover over it and it tells you that it's your number of coins divided by the total number of coins times 100 times the number of mercenaries of this type to be distributed, which is in this case is three. And there you will get uh, your percentage, okay? Your share, the chance of you actually being able to get that, okay? You can actually earn more than one mercenary, okay? Because there are going to be around 1.5 million lucky coins that will be drawn. All will have a unique number. So when you're getting the lucky coins in this event, you actually got a unique number on that coin and that will be in the lottery and it will be drawn. You might have more than one lucky coin, obviously, and more than one will be drawn, okay? But at the moment, there are a total of, let's see, there are a total of like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 4 billion, if I'm reading that right, 4.2 billion coins are out there, of which I have 706,000, okay? That's not much at all at the moment. But again, I've just started this like a day ago, so, and I didn't always have the power I have today. I've just gotten the damage per second to the maximum recently, so it was just like yesterday. Um, I do have a chance, 100% chance, at getting the Sand Ninja, the Wandering Viking, the Royal Archer, and the Dwarf Hireling. Those, it's kind of telling me that you're guaranteed that you are going to get one of these. That's the way I'm understanding it, okay? So I will check with support about this, and I must mention here that support are very active on Gemli. Support actually speak to you within minutes, okay? So they're really, really helpful when it comes to that as well. I'm expecting that I'm going to get at least one of each of these, okay? Then I've got a 16% chance of getting the Outlaw Assassin and the Royal Guardian. Closer to the end of this event, I'll be posting another video on Gemli and I will let you know my status in the rankings as well. And I hope that you enjoy and participate in this event as well. And I'm going to shut up now and stop blabbing and just check out the game. Click my link down in the description below for the game to get your first 100,000 gems on Gemly as well. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash the like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.